Hello everyone, in this class 11 physics unit 5, we will radius of gyration. Okay, so now there is a bulk object. Okay, that is a shape, a regular shape. A square, a rectangle, a sphere, and that is a regular shape. Then there is a mass that is uniform distributed. So, uniform distributed and that is a regular shape. And the Mariana objects can have a moment of inertia. Can put it a pretty other mass plus in the Marian the other radius, length, breadth. So in the Mariana wishing will which are the moment of inertia. I'm not a kind of a commodio. But if I even though object on the regular on a shape play left plus other mass on the uniform distribute agla. So on the Maricum other other moment of inertia. I'm not a kind of a commodio. Okay, so in the male either which can put it on the other applicable. I recall so number I per general formula be now on the yellow with them on objects on the. Applicable is the same as the same as the uniform mass distribution is the same as the non-uniform mass distribution is the same as 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 the if you use the moment of inertia, you can use it. All of them are applicable. So, M is the total mass of the object. K is the radius of gyration. Okay. What is it? So, radius of gyration of an object is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to an equivalent point mass which would have a same mass as well as the same moment of inertia of the object. So, on the... So, in the diagram, this is an irregular shape, a rigid body. Okay, this is the axis of the rotate height. Okay, so this is a very point mass. Okay, so this is a point mass, this is a point mass, this is a distance. R1, R2, R3, R4 distances. So, this is all small point masses. So, this is a mass of DMR. Okay, this is a point mass of DMR. DMR. So, in the mother, this is the total mass in our capital M. Okay, in the object, the total mass is capital M. So, if we do the moment of inertia, we will do the summation. In the mass, 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 in the full body or moment of inertia have been read the curriculum okay so if number is the under the room of area process are cause I paid on number it up and lie easy up under the game up and wrong in the whole rigid body on the world small point mass a consider panic room okay so in the whole on a either clean area point mass it can amend up and run in the whole rigid body way or a point mass a consider panic room so on the point mass in your recovery much club okay well so in the whole rigid body of mass another capital M is not here. Then, this mass is capital M. So, in the full rigid body, we will consider the part of the part. So, this mass is the total mass. This is the same mass. So, this is capital M. So, this is the axis of this axis. So, this is the distance of this axis. This is the moment of the moment of inertia. That is the radius of gyration. So, now we have to take this particular distance. Okay, so we have to say this distance. So, we have to consider the point mass of a rigid body. So, we have to consider the point mass of a rigid body. So, we have to consider the point mass of a rigid body. So, we have to consider the point mass of a rigid body. So, we have to consider the moment of inertia. So, we have to consider the point mass of a rigid body. Okay, so we have to consider the point mass of a rigid body. So, we have to consider the point mass of a rigid body. Okay, so we have to consider the point mass. Now, the moment of inertia and the same thing is the moment of inertia. Now, the k is the radius of gyration. Okay. So, now, the definition is the radius of gyration of an object is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So, the radius of gyration is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So, the radius of gyration is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So, the perpendicular distance is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. To an equivalent point mass, equivalent point mass is what? In the rigid body, it is equal to a point mass. Okay, so what do we say? This is equal to a point mass. In the rigid body, it is equal to a point mass. 
which would have the same mass. So, this is the mass of the mass. This is the full capital M. This is the capital M. As well as the same moment of inertia of the body. Now, I will tell in the particular distance, this is the same moment of inertia. Okay, so this is the same moment of inertia. This is the distance. This is the moment of inertia. Same okay. So, in this particular distance, this is R and this is the distance. This the distance. This is the P and this is So, in the P distance, this is the moment of inertia. This is the R distance. This is the moment of inertia. This is the moment of inertia. So, in the particular distance, this is the moment of inertia. So, in the particular distance, this is the radius of gyration. Okay. In the distance, this is the point mass. This is the rigid body. Same moment of inertia with her room, so other than the radius of gyration. Okay, as radius of gyration is distance, its unit is m, its dimension is l. So, in the radius of gyration, another one distance than a quick them. So, in the distance of the unit, another meter are co meter are been another dimension l are co. Okay. So, a rotating rigid body with respect to an any axis is considered to be made up of. So, I will show you example. So, M1, M2, M3, up to Mn. Okay, well, if you point mass, made up of a rigid body. And then, for perpendicular distance, R1, R2, R3, and the distance, and the axis is the distance. So, I will show you the same thing. I will show you the same thing. axis is the rigid body. So, there is a lot of point mass. Okay, well. So, n number of point masses irukkum. Okay, that's the distance on the R1, R2, R3, R4 and the mari distances la thalli irukkum. Okay. Appa, that's the moment of inertia nam enna pannu oom? Summation thana pannu oom? I is equal to summation M I R I square adhudu. M1, R1 square plus M2, R2 square. M3, R3 square. So, yellla thiyo. Nam mari pannu pannu yadha add pannu oom? Mattapa summation pannu oom? So, that's the moment of inertia. If we take all the n number of individual masses to be equal. அதாவது இப்ப வந்து இது வந்து m1 இது m2 இது m3 இது m4 னு எடுக்கிறதுக்கு பதிலா இது இந்த எல்லா பாயிண்ட் மாசஸோட மாஸ் வந்து சேம் அப்படினு சொல்லிட்டாங்க சோ இது m1 m2 m3 m4 இல்லாம இது m தான் இது m தான் இது m தான் இது m தான் சோ இந்த மாதிரி எல்லா பாயிண்ட் மாஸ்மே அதோட மாஸ் வந்து ஈக்குவல் அப்படினு சொல்லிட்டாங்க ஓகேவா எல்லாத்துக்குமே மாஸ் வந்து m அப்படினு சொல்லிட்டாங்க அப்ப மொத்தம் இதுல எத்தனை பாயிண்ட் மாஸ் இருக்கும் I have told you already n number of point mass. Then, one point mass is m. Then, what is the point mass here? n into m. So, this is the mass n into m. This is the total mass. Capital M. Okay, so this is the point mass. So, this is the n number of particles. This is the mass. 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 Small m अपनी सोली तो अपने इतना particle सिर्क अद अदला ओर particle का mass उन्हें इवला अपनी ना अंद full rigid body का mass है ना वार कोम यानि इंटे m मार कोम तो अंद total mass एवलों सोली तो नंबर capital m अपनी सोली तो okay साधा ही कुर्तर कांगे ये पर m is equal to m one m two is equal to m three तो ये लामे same अपनी सोली तांग तो ये पर moment of inertia का नपड़ी के परो i is equal to m one m one वारा द ये लामे same ना ना m r one square plus m r2 square அப்படின்டு நம்ப m r n வருக்கும் plus பண்ணும் okay நான் இங்கே n number of particles இருக்கு so இப்பே எல்லாத்திலியும் m என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம் common வெளியில் எடுத்துக்கலாம் so common வெளியில் எடுத்துக்கும் அப்படினா உள்ளை என்ன இருக்கும் r1 square plus r2 square plus r3 square up to r n square வருக்கு இருக்கும் okay so இப்பு நம் என்ன பண்ணிரும் So, இப்பு இன்டு என் பண்ணமுது இங்கு என் இன்டு யம் அப்படின் வந்திரும் divided by என் பண்ணமுது இந்த அடத்தில் என் அப்படின் வந்திரும் okay, small n அப்பு இந்த என் எம் தான் என்ன சென்ன total mass சென்னனா capital M so, இந்த என் எம்க்கு பதிலா capital M அப்படின் போட்டாங்க அப்பு இது பாக்க எப்படி இருக்கு R1 square plus R2 square plus Rn வருக்கியும் இருக்கு divided by n அது பந்து mean பண்ணிர மாதிர் இருக்கு, square mean பண்ணிர மாதிர் இருக்கு, square பண்ணி mean எடுக்கிற மாதிர் இருக்கு, அது என்னது actually, mean, இப்பு நான் என்ன சொன்னார், radius of gyration அப்படின்றது வந்து, இங்கு வந்து, இவ்வளோ distances இருக்கு, அந்த distancesலா, சேத்து, ஒரு particular distanceல் நம்ம வைக்கே மோதுதான், அது ஒரு moment of inertia, same 
So mean at a cono. So Adanaladam, either one the mean than this square mean actually the square punny mean contemplated. Okay, Adanala and then the square update ported and the mean contemplated on the K abdin portrakanga. Okay, where radius of gyration K square abdin were them. Okay. Actually, in the K abdin rather than in the distance is sella, say to or particular distance la number correcta the mean la and the putsi veke moda. And the k and the moment of inertia are the same So So the k can be the same as the mean. Okay, r1 plus r2 plus r3. And the mean can be the Okay. So now we have to do square mean. So square is the mean. We have to do k square. Okay. i is equal to m into k square. Where Nm is the total mass, that is capital M. That is K is the radius of gyration. Okay. So, now we will see this value is the K square. So, the K square is the K The full value is the K square. Then, so, K is the value of the root. Okay. So, the K square is the whole value. Then, so, K is the root. Okay, this is K's value. The expression for radius of gyration indicates that it is the root mean square. That is root mean. We will add mean. What do we do? Square mean. So, that is mean. So, that is root mean square. RMS. Distance of the particles. Distance of the particles. That is R, R2, R3. That is the distance of the particles from the axis of rotation. Axis of rotation is the distance. We will root mean square. Radius of gyration. Okay. In fact, the moment of inertia of any body could be expressed in the form of i is equal to mk square. Now, already so in the particle, the moment of inertia is mk square. That is regular shape, regular shape, uniform mass distributed. In the formula, we have moment of inertia. For example, let us take the moment of inertia of an uniform rod of mass m and length yet. So, we uniform rod. Okay. Uniform, uniform on a rod is the moment of inertia. We can do it. Then, the moment of inertia is already done. Okay. So, the uniform rod is the moment of inertia. So, i is equal to 1 by 12 m l square. So, that is how we can i is equal to 1 by 12 ml square. That is a uniform rod and moment of inertia. So, if we do this, we will equal to the moment of inertia in the mk square. So, this is i, this is i. So, what do we do? We equate mk square is equal to 1 by 12 ml square. So, this is m and this is m cancel. So, k square is equal to 1 by 12 l square. Okay, now we root the two sides. K the 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 one the 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 L square is equal to 1 by root 12 L. So, root is equal to 1 by root 12 L. So, root is equal to 1 by root 12 L. Now, in the, in the root is equal to root. Now, this is the root of the root. This is the root of the root. This is the root of the root. Now, we will conjugate it. Now, k is equal to 1 by 2 root 3. Now, we will conjugate it. So, in the 3 and 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 3 so actually, what is the So, k is equal to 1 by 2 root 3 l. So, what is the conjugate? Actually, what is the root? 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 What is root? What is the root? What is the root? k is equal to root? What is the root? root? Here is root 3 into root 3 and 3 have been one Okay, so 2 into 3 and 6 L have been So root 3 is value of 1.732. That is why 6 all divide. We have to divide this value. Okay, so this value into 
n so number radius of gyration kandupidichaachu so avladha indha video thank you for watching